Welcome to Volrath University. I'm Chef Rich, and today we're going to talk about cleaning a slicer. In front of me, I have the industry standard 12 inch blade, half horsepower slicer. This is the Volrath 40797. And the distinguishing feature of the Volrath slicers is that we have the nonstick surfaces on all the food contact areas. This greatly reduces drag when slicing, but also aids in cleanup. To begin cleaning any slicer, always make sure the slicer is unplugged and the switch is off. Also make sure the gauge plate is in its fully closed position. Next, we want to open up the product tray and get that out of the way. We do that by removing this and then opening up the tray. Next, we'll remove the blade faceplate. We do this by removing the nut on the back side of the unit and I don't remove this all the way. I actually use this when it's loose to push back against the faceplate to make it easier to remove. Now I can remove the faceplate. Now we can go and clean the front side of the blade. Also, if we move the blade a little bit, we can clean the back side. Now on some Volrath units, we have a safe blade removal tool, which I'll show you now. For Volrath slicers then equipped with the blade removal tool, first we have to make sure that we get the sharpening stones up and out of the way. This allows the removal tool to fit flush to the blade. Next then we'll take the center of the blade removal tool and put it into the center of the slicer blade, making sure that the two pins on the tool fit into the two cutouts on the blade. We do this by centering the tool and then twisting until we see it into the blade. Next we'll take the two screws and tighten them into the two points into the blade. Make sure they're snug. And I always make sure to shake it to make sure that it's securely fastened. When it is securely fastened, now we will just simply back out the center nut and then remove it from the slicer. Now we can clean the back side of the blade. Also at this time, we can clean the center of the slicer as the bearings are sealed. If you can see inside this blue seal, that shows that the bearings are fully sealed. So here again, at this time, we would go and clean the slicer, clean all the areas behind the blade that normally are very, very difficult, if not impossible to clean. Making that a very quick, easy, and once again, safe process. So now we have the blade removed. The way the safe blade removal system works is that the acrylic disc is actually slightly larger than the diameter of the blade. Therefore, the edge of the blade never exceeds the edge of the acrylic, making it safe now to handle. Without the safe blade removal system, I would never recommend removing the blade from the slicer. Now let's reassemble the slicer. We begin by placing the center of the blade removal tool into the center of the slicer. Next, we want to move the blade, and you'll actually hear it and feel it seat into place. Now turn in the center nut on the blade, and you want to do that until snug. Now we go and remove the blade removal tool by loosening these two nuts, and now the tool comes off. Now we'll reassemble the faceplate. We do this by simply putting the faceplate into position, and then on the back side again inserting the screw. and tightening down the nut. And now simply return the product tray to its position and secure with the nut. And that's how you very quickly and most importantly safely clean your slicer using the Volrath Safe Blade Removal Tool.